do you have Italian roots? Yeah. Yeah, me, me neither. Um, but you and I, we both love the food, right? The problem is getting it to be simple in the kitchen and yummy so it's a win-win for everyone, right? Bringing Italian food into the into the mix, right? Now, this is our second video in our Cuisine Christmas um, where we dive in to some amazing blends of essential oils made specifically for your culinary pleasure. This is why we speak like this because we're wearing glasses. Each week, I'm sharing a simple recipe that you can make to bring joy straight to your table. And this week, we're going to warm your tummies with, well, and your not Italian heart. <laughs> um, I'm actually curious how many of you do have Italian roots? Let me know below. Um, <clears throat> because... I'm diving into Italian today. Um, and if you're if you're joining me on Instagram or um, after the live is over, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining in. I will say you guys in, on Instagram are on the cheap seats. You're not going to be able to grab all of the bonus re recipes and things that I'm sharing today. You won't be able to see some of the things. So come join us over there to be in, in the front row over on Facebook at 3 Life Essentials. Hi, Olivia. Now, um, come join us over on Facebook so you can get all the goodness, um, the Italian goodness. So, um, yes, over at 3 Life Essentials, you can join us over there. So today we're going to be free from boring food and free from processed foods and free to excite your taste buds. Yes, free to enjoy food, free to be Italian, free to simplify your life. and. Um, free to digest your food well? Uh, Italian like Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo <laughs> da Vinci was French. Now, um, I have, um, those of you who are joining me, oh, <laughs> please don't fall off the stool. Um, if you'll, if you'll drop the word Italian below, I'm going to give you all of my written notes today so that you don't have to write down the recipe and... Um, I'm going to be giving you some bonus recipes, like some creamy Italian dressing for, um, and we're all about simple here because um, I have three boys and we run three different businesses. And so nobody's got time for complicated. Um, we want simple and three boys, three businesses, that's six businesses because I'm a business myself. <laughs> And there you go. That's six businesses, according to to him. Okay, according to him, to them, <laughs> Not uh, him. we're hard. Uh, we're uh, hard to have. Whatever is that is, <laughs> hard that to handle. <laughs> hard to handle. Now, don't keep this information to yourself. Um, if this topic resonates with you, hit those buttons. Let me know how you feel about them. And I know you have a few friends who would benefit from this. So if you want to take a moment and tell them about that, go ahead. Where did my water go? Here we go. Now, my name is Amy Miller. If you're new to joining me, and this is my lovely assistant. You want to wave? Hey. And hi, you can't see me. <laughs> and over here. <laughs> I'm a wellness advocate and a business coach, and I help fellow SLPs and therapists in private practice make a bigger impact in the lives of their patients and set their business apart from all the others and provide patients with solutions that address issues rather than just putting band-aids on problems. And we do that using our signature spark method via our growth mindset coaching. And part of our mindset today and this month is really bringing bringing the holidays and lots of really yummy flavors into the holidays um, because as therapists we need we need some we need some fun stuff in the kitchen as well so this is free friday yep and it's also ugly sweater day yes and we love to learn out loud here on free friday <laughs> um and when we learn out loud what do we do um you 
wear ugly sweaters on ugly sweater day? No, we use the hashtag free Friday and you share whatever is freeing your mind, whatever new nugget is, whatever idea you want to hold on to. Um, so throughout the live today, even if you're watching after the live is over, anytime you hear something is really valuable to you, a new idea or a nugget, just type in the word hashtag free Friday and then share the tip that you're going to implement in your own life. Now, as a mom of some crazy kids, you are always on the lookout for healthy and delicious recipes that are simple to make. Measuring out unusual spices isn't hard but it would be nice for an easy way to add some amazing flavor to your food without having to be this professional level with exotic ingredients, right? In other words, you want it to be simple. So are you ready to add some exciting flavor? Yes, oh yes. See, Miss Denise is telling you, hard to handle, yes. Um, <laughs> um, that's what you say. She would know. Yes, thanks for sharing. Um, drop in that word Italian, and I will give you all the written notes and some really cool bonus recipes. I'm going to tell you what some of those bonus recipes and, are and today. Simple, but as in only five ingredients. Six. Yeah. So let me show you really quickly. This is the oil blend that I'm going to be showing you today. Let me move some of this stuff around here. So the blend here on the far right is our new, um, where did it go? Right here. Right here. Um, this is a set of our brand new hot only for the holidays, um, cuisine blends. And today we're highlighting the Italian blend that has quite a few different oils in it that are great for adding to any of your Italian dishes. Now I'm going to show you what you can do if you don't have this particular blend as well. Um, but here's what's in it. There's, it's in a base of olive oil and it has thyme, rosemary, basil, marjoram, and oregano. So I love that it's in a base and ready to go. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but if you don't have this particular blend, never fear. What you can do is if you have any of those essential, those single essential oils, you can bring some of those similar flavors right into your dishes. Rosemary. Basil. Oregano. Basil. You want to hold them? Here, you hold them. Rosemary. Basil. Oregano. Marjoram. And thyme. So all of those, those are all just the five oils that are in there in a base of olive oil. So I'll show you, I'm going to give you some tips about um, using your, using essential oils in the kitchen. Okay. But we're going to get started here making this Italian chicken soup. Yes. Now, um, so one of the greatest benefits of essential oils is really just their wide variety of uses. I mean, with, with so many different oils that hold unique benefits and advantages, you can incorporate them nearly into every area of your daily routines and your lifestyle. They can help with things like relaxation and sleep, right? Um, beautifying skin and hair, right? Um, soothing massages, repelling insects, cleaning surfaces in your house, but because cooking and eating and drinking are such a natural part of our everyday lives, it's no surprise that they can also be useful in the kitchen. Yes. So tip number one with using essential oils in the kitchen, it just takes a little to add flavor. Tip number two, you also, you also have to put on your glasses because this is science. Let me put on mine. So, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take, um, are we already heated up in here with the avocado? No. Okay. So we're going to take two tablespoons of, I think two tablespoons, three tablespoons of avocado oil. I'm curious, how many of you already use avocado oil in your cooking? If you haven't started yet, attempt, grab our tablespoon. 
Um, if you haven't started yet, this is a great time. Apparently, I can't open the avocado oil. Apparently, it doesn't open. Um, we're going to add in three tablespoons of avocado oil, and you're going to put that until um, until it kind of starts to shimmer. And then you're going to add in um, two tablespoons of minced garlic. You just pour that in. All right, so just pour that in because that's about three tablespoons. Okay. The cover the, no, cover the bottom. Oh, just cover the bottom. All right. So you're going to add in your minced garlic, um, two tablespoons of that. So I'm going to use this. All right. And then you're going to add in... Um, yeah, so you're gonna add in your garlic and let that simmer. Um, and then you're gonna add in celery, bell pepper, and onions to the pot, okay? So two celery stalks diced, one bell pepper, and one onion diced up that you're gonna add in. Okay. Hey. So approximately six cloves of garlic. You want me to put that in? Half a teaspoon is one clove. So, so, so six would be two of these. Nope, one of them. That's, that's it right there. Oh, that's it. Wait, one I tablespoon. Yeah. Put that in there. All right. So um, you're going to do all those things. Now let me give you a tip. Essential oils, you just need a little bit. goes a long way. So we're going to use very little um, in this because they're super concentrated. So if you're using your single oils, you're not gonna use a drop of each of those. You're actually gonna start with a toothpick amount. So you're literally going to have a toothpick that you dip in there and you can swirl it around in your dish um, near the end because you don't want to heat them up. So I'm gonna give you another little tip. Essential oils actually also have internal benefits. So depending upon the oil, they can actually help with digestion. They can help cleanse the body. They can help give your body antioxidants and a whole lot more. So, yes. Okay, some of the other recipes that I'm going to be giving you. Okay, that's looking great. So now we're going to add in our celery and our bell pepper. So we're going to add those into the mix. Watch out. And our onion. Let's see if we can get all that out. Can you guys see any of this that we're doing here? Yeah, it's starting to look really great. How's it smelling, Micah? Very good. Okay, so you're going to be sauteing that until the vegetables um, are soft. And then you're going to add in some chicken. Um, you're going to add in about six, six cups of bone broth as well. Um, let me see. How much chicken are we doing? Um, you're going to do two cooked chicken breasts. Now, I usually like to double recipes, and if, especially if you're doing this for the holidays. You might want to do this. Um, and you you might want to double because you got kids. You might want to double or triple the recipe there. So once those are softened, we're going to add in our chicken and our bone broth. I love this brand of Ideal Best, Good Better Best. We always talk about that when we're talking about different ingredients that we're using. Um, best would be my homemade bone broth that I make in the Instant Pot, which I don't have right now. So this is my next best option. This brand is Bonafide, but you can buy, you wanna look for organic bone broth. This is not the same as chicken stock or beef stock. This is actually a bone broth. So this is the bones that have been simmered. Um, you can see here, it'll tell you on here, maybe this one doesn't say. Yeah, it said it's made from free range chicken bones. And it's slow simmered, usually for at least 18 to 24, maybe even 36 hours, um, which is huge amounts of amino acids, huge amounts of antioxidants in here, really great for the skin. Um, so lots of nutrition here found in bone broth. 
You will usually find it in the refrigerated or the frozen section if you're buying it. Um, and I also have a recipe um, on our blog on how to do, how to make your own bone broth. So we're gonna add in, how much did I say? Six, Six cups. cups. So let's see. That's this whole thing, yes? I think so. Um, let's get some scissors. How are those veggies looking? Are they getting soft? Yep. Awesome. Yes. Okay, what questions do you have? When I share with you the recipe, I'm also going to be giving you a creamy Italian dressing that you can make. Um, ooh, this is... This is sifting out on me. This is oozing out on me. <laughs> oozing out on me here. Um, okay. So, um, look, Jim has joined us in the kitchen. Look what a nice surprise. Um, I'm also going to be giving you a red sauce recipe that you can use to add to either like your a dip for um, bread or if you want to use it on top of your pizza that you're celebrating um, during the holidays. Hi, Christina. Good to see you. Yes. Yes. Give me all the Italian. Italian, 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 Italian. Okay. Tell me, Christina, do you have Italian roots? Tell me. Tell me all about them. Um, and then I'm also going to give you an Italian chicken marinade. Um, that you can also add. Again, these are simple ingredients. Um, <clears throat> but today I'm giving you the Italian chicken soup recipe. Okay, so did you know also that essential oils are safe, natural ingredients? Now, by using essential oils to add flavor to your food and enhance your cooking, you're not only going to have endless options for making healthy and creative meals, but you can also rest easy knowing exactly what you're putting in your food, right? These are taken directly from natural sources. They don't include processed or harmful ingredients. And I want you to remember, though, that essential oils are not created equal. Some companies are going to use fillers or synthetic ingredients in their oils. You're going to want to use pure therapeutic grade essential oils in your cooking so that you can enjoy the benefits of natural flavors and ingredients. This stuff only okay. has 13 ingredients. The stuff you buy from stores has 375 million. We try to stick to, when we read something, when we have a package of something, we do try to make sure it has less, 10 or less ingredients. That's our ideal. Um, and and ingredients that we can pronounce, right? <laughs> Not a pop as your ingredients. Don't use that. Yes, yes. Um, yay. Oh, we're doing well, Christina. Okay, Christina is 100% Italian. I love it, Christina. We're trying to channel our Italian roots even though we don't have any. So we want to, so. <laughs> yeah, no Italian roots here. Well, and yes, of course. So do you, how do you, uh, Christina, I'm wondering with you having Italian roots, how do you bring Italian into your meals or your um, or your family traditions and things at, during the holidays. We'd love to hear. And we're doing great. Good to see you. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to add in the chicken. Let's see. I think we're ready to add in the chicken. Oh, there's a bee in here. Okay, we're ready to add in the chicken. I'm going to add in the chicken and the bone broth. And then we're going to add in four Roma tomatoes. This is where you want to you want to for sure be using organic because tomatoes have a tendency to be part of that dirty dozen. And so you don't want to be including those pesticides. If you're going to be pure with your essential oils, be pure with your food as well. So we're going to add in um, chicken, bone broth, and tomatoes to this and then we're going to let it simmer. 
Ooh, there is a bee that is stalking us in here. This is what happens when you live a lot outdoors. You know, <laughs> you bring the outdoors in. Think about bees, whenever I uh, think there's actually a couple of bees in here. I Once in Salt Lake City, uh, we we were taking right there. We but. went to Blue Lemon, a uh, quite a really good restaurant there, and uh, there Noah uh was what uh had a big salad with some chicken on it, and uh he brought it outside, and this big giant bee came on came onto the salad. It plucked a big piece of uh of chicken about this big off and just flew away yeah. true story b i think was actually trying to eat his salad yep although i don't think bees eat from restaurants oh ah! this is what happens when you're in a fifth wheel kitchen we're in tight quarters here <laughs> just so we would like Oh, so Christina says, we eat a lot of Italian all the time, but for the holidays, we have macaroni and fish on Christmas Eve. And of course, lots of Italian desserts. Italian desserts. I love that. Okay. I would go for French desserts because they won the, the, the best dessert contest in 2022. I love to say, this uh, cuisine... I mean, uh, 2014. This cuisine bin blend will probably not work for the Italian desserts because of the flavors in this, but <laughs> you could use some other essential oils like some of your citrus maybe um, to add into the Italian, an Italian dessert. These books um, are easy to cut. I love it. Okay. So once you've got that simmering, then you're going to add in, now the recipe calls for orzo pasta, but if you do not like orzo pasta, um, we haven't been able to find a um, gluten-free or a grain-free option of orzo pasta. So we're going to use, um, oh, that bee was crawling on the ground. Um, there's no show. So we're going to be showing, um, just don't step on it. We're going to be showing the bee away. That's don't step we're on the bee. Um, we're going to be using a red lentil um, fusely. So just pick a pasta that your family can eat and enjoy. Um, and maybe Christina can even give us some tips on that. Okay, if... I never knew this, but my dad just dumped the whole entire bottle of sauce in that thing. In the pot. <laughs> so we're going to be letting that simmer. And then once you have that simmer, you're going to add in your pasta choice. Um, and stir that occasionally, and then you're gonna add. Um, this looks like you put blood in here. You're gonna add cream after that pasta becomes soft as well. Be real gentle. And that makes perfect sense because we got bones and blood in here. Ah. <laughs> we have bones and blood in here. I think we've just moved to making a whole different dish. <laughs> so. If you've noticed, we have not added our spices or essential oils yet because those are gonna go in at the very end. Um, after everything is cooked, this is the other key with essential oils is that and if you're using them in a dish that is heated, you're going to wait until the dish is complete and then add the essential oils in there because over time, heat and essential oils um, don't go well together. They actually will lose some of their therapeutic benefits. So you don't wanna lose that impact, right? You wanna get all of those. So you wanna not only have the flavor, but also the, um, the health benefits. Now, here's the other really cool fact about your essential oils in the kitchen is that they're super convenient. So when you don't have fresh or raw ingredients that are available, right? If it's not in season or maybe you're in a location where they're out or something, you can always have your oils on hand. And because they stay good for a very long time, you don't have to worry about whether the fresh ingredient went bad. So it also makes them really cost effective. So convenient and cost effective really helps me in using them in the kitchen. So. And who wants to guess how much we're gonna add to this big pot of soup at the end? Anybody wanna guess? A gallon. <laughs> the whole bottle. We're gonna add one drop 
of this Italian cuisine blend, and then we'll season with salt and pepper. Um, and, and then we're gonna turn the heat down and allow it to rest. Um, and then, or you can, you can allow the soup to cool and store it for when all the family is coming. Now, I mentioned that cream. I mentioned that we're gonna add cream to this, but um, it's dairy-free. So you can use a dairy-free cream. Um, um, ooh, here's another one. I like to use Nut Pods um, un Unflavored Creamer if you want to use um, a nut-based cream. Um, or you can use coconut cream. I will tell you, if you use a coconut-based cream, um, you will end up with a little bit more of a coconutty flavor that you may not you may not desire in your Italian soup. So just be aware of that. Italy, 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 yes. Italy, Italy. Awesome. Any questions that you guys have, um, just let me know. So, um, so that's it. And um, you'll have your soup. So we're just going to let this simmer a little bit more and then add in our pasta and enjoy that later today. So let me know what you think about this Italian soup, if you've ever tried something similar to this. And, um, and bringing these flavors into your own holidays. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me next week. Same time, same place. Yes, on Christmas Day, we're going to be enjoying Mexican. We're going to be doing bringing a Mexican dish to your Christmas Day. So, yes, I'm excited about it too. Mexico. Mexico, yes. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye.